Welcome in to another edition of Film Room presented by Academy here from the star in Frisco alongside former Cowboy Isaiah Stanback. I'm Kyle Yeomans where the Cowboys are on fire. Three straight wins heading into week five of the NFL season and they take on the New York Giants. Now the Giants have a couple things that they do well offensively. Of course, Saquon Barkley and his return from a knee injury last year hasn't gotten off to a hot start, but maybe a big reason for that are the weapons that the Giants now employ outside. Yeah, the Giants Giants did a great job this offseason adding to their arsenal, right? Everybody is going to that faces the Giants is going to be threatened by that dude, number 26, <laughs> Saquon Barkley. He is one of the best athletes, hands down, in the NFL. And then they have the quarterback, Daniel Jones, who's still trying to figure out who he is, but he's still a threat if you give him time or if you just don't respect his ability to run now that he's one of the, least, the leading rushers. Yeah. All right, but they also added some guys on the outside. They have Galladay out there uh, coming from Detroit, and they also have Ross. And so they have some speed. They have some speed. They have a mixture of size, um, and they can be a threat if you allow them to get the ground game going. So as we approach this game, we need to make sure that we shut down that dude in the backfield. And when you don't, if you don't shut down the guy in the backfield, he will take advantage just like he took advantage last week against the Saints. They had to start respecting his, his ability to run the ball. So what did that do? That forced their safeties to start keeping their eyes in the backfield and that allowed for them to get big plays over the top like you see here. So check out this play right here. We have the guy, they have a nice little play action going. Watch the eyes of the safety. Pause it right there. He's in the backfield, right? The first couple things that he did was go straight to taking steps up here, and which caught him right off guard, which allows for Big Ross, or Little Ross, with a lot of speed to get over the top on a post route. You see this guy's eyes as well in the backfield. He's trying to figure out what's going on, and that allows for guys to get over the top. This is what we can't allow coming up this week. Shut down the run game, and we don't have to worry about these big plays over the top. Boom, big pass. You gave Daniel Jones time. Touchdown, Ross. Now, Daniel Jones coming off of a career high 402 passing yards in that win over New Orleans. And he had a couple of rushing yards in there as well. But you look at the, the Cowboys side of things, they've been able to establish the run three straight weeks. And really, Ezekiel Elliott, Tony Pollard, and that offensive front playing as good as they ever have. How do they continue that this week? Yeah, I mean, the last last week against the Panthers, we did a heck of a job. We almost had, a, I almost think we had 7.8, oh, close to eight yards yeah. rushing per attempt. Um, and everybody forgot about that guy, Zeke. We remember Pollard, but Zeke is still a dog, okay? He can still tote that thing. And here is a great example of us last week. Great, great, ama amazing job by the offensive line. They don't get enough, enough respect. They don't get enough regard around here. We always talk about the guys that show up in a stat line, but I want you guys to see exactly what our offensive line did last week against a, 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 a really our aggressive front by, by uh, the Carolina Panthers. Let's go ahead and push the play button here. Boom, going straight there. Boom, 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 boom. Pause it right there. I want you guys to see this nice little ocean valley that we have here where he's going right up here. There's nobody here. Look at all this space. There's a whole lot of space. Look at that triangle there. That's all the space that Zeke had, and we'll see it better from the other angle. He puts his foot in the ground, hits it. Boom, easy game. Great job by the offensive line. Great running by, by Zeke. Let's take a look from the other angle here so you guys see the work here. I want you guys to see right off the back, look at the seal by Tyron Smith. He gets up to the next level and seals this thing off. Schultz does a great job kicking out, all right? We turn, these guys all work up to the next level, and that is the seam that Zeke hits. Let's watch it happen in real time now. Boom, here comes Tyron, gets a hand on, helps out uh, Connor. Schultz gets the kick out, and right here again, look at this valley right here. Boom, he has all the space he wants to. Great job also by Cedric Wilson getting up here and getting a block on the safety. Everybody's doing their job. This is what we have to continue to do this week. We need to establish the run against these boys. And this was a big play on the ground, but the Cowboys could see something in that New York defense yeah. in the secondary that isn't very good, at least at the moment and trying to find their own. Can the Cowboys take advantage of a couple big plays through the air? Absolutely. In order to have those plays in the air, we want to make sure that we take care of the ground game. If we take care of the ground game, these boys back here are very undisciplined. I don't know what they are doing, but their <laughs> eyes stay in the backfield at all times. And guess what? If that's their tendency, then let's, let's help them out a little bit. Yeah. Let's continue to run the ball. And you'll see right here, the Saints running a nice little play action here. Boom, the fake the pitch. And right here, I want you guys to deposit right here the one of the things as a, as a receiver is they want to you want to get up on the toes of the defender if as soon as I close that gap right there now as a quarterback I see that and I know that I have an opportunity to take the big shot over the top and take advantage of the big plays okay so as you guys see here watch the eyes of these safeties even right there all the way on their toes pause it again this guy is even this is even right here 
even with the secondary guys, <laughs> right? And yet these guys' eyes are still looking back here. I don't know what is going on, but this is something that happens on a consistent basis. If they want to have their eyes in the backfield, let's run the ball and then take our shots over the top. Big play, Kenny Stills, touchdown. We need to see that this week. And there are a couple guys the Cowboys could certainly get behind that New York defense with C.D. Lamb, Amari Cooper even dealing with some injuries. Cedric Wilson had a couple big plays last year that Everybody. he could definitely do so again here in week five. He's Isaiah Stanback. I'm Kyle Yeomans. That's it for us this week on Film Room.